let's see extraction of aluminium oxide so aluminium oxide is used as an aluminium ore and it's used to obtain aluminium and because aluminium is above carbon in the reactivity series it cannot be extracted for reduction so you cannot use like the, a blast furnace to obtain aluminium you have to use electrolysis so here's the position of aluminium in the reactivity series it's above carbon carbon can be used to reduce these metals but um, all these metals but here aluminium is above carbon therefore we extract it all of these are extracted by electrolysis now to obtain aluminium we use the aluminium ore called bauxite bauxite contains aluminium oxide including impurities and and in order to have um, pure aluminium oxide bauxite is going to be purified the pure aluminium oxide has a melting point of above 2000 degrees celsius so it's a very very high uh, melting point temperature and in order to uh, to keep it in the molten state we're going to add cryolite to it cryolite is going to act as an impurity it's going to lower the melting point of aluminium oxide so that you don't have so much electrical energy spent in melting it so we need it to be molten so in order to melt it we're going to heat it but if its melting point is too high, you're going to use a lot of electrical energy to melt it. So we add cryolite to it in order to lower its melting point. So you do not need to be able to draw this uh, electrolytic setup, but you should be able to identify that the anode is over here, like these carbon bars are Alum or anode and then you have the molten aluminium which is going to deposit and that the box over here the whole box is the cathode and then the aluminium oxide is going to be deposited uh, at the cathode now the anode and the cathode they are made of carbon inert electrodes so overall you're going to have aluminium oxide that splits into aluminium and oxygen so ions that migrate to the cathode will be the cations so al3 plus and product at the cathode is going to be molten aluminium and at the cathode you have reduction reaction so you have the gain of electrons now at the anode you're going to have oxygen ions that migrate and the product is going to be oxygen gas and the half equation at the anode will be a, an oxidation reaction so o2 minus this is going to produce electrons so this is going to produce oxygen gas if you balance the equation two oxygen so i put two oxygen therefore the charge becomes four minus so i need to put four electrons now, if you look at the carbon anodes, these carbon anodes need to be regularly replaced. What happens is that at very high temperature, in the presence of the oxygen gas produced, this is going to cause carbon in the anode to react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. And because it's forming carbon dioxide gas, this gas escapes, so which literally means that the anode is going to be eaten away so the anode is going to decrease in size gradually during the electrolysis so that's why you have to replace it now when you have more than one cation and more than one anion in a solution you have selective discharge so the next video we're going to be looking at selective discharge of anions and cations